Well, the original th concept behind Winona 360 was that we need to reinvent journalism. In a way, we need to reinvent how we engage as a civic society. How do we use news, information, connection, knowledge to create understanding? Understanding of the place that we live, understanding of the issues that we face, and understanding of who we are as individuals as member, uh, that are members of a society. So that's changing. Uh, we have completely blown up the model of traditional journalism, of traditional mass communication in which we created messages or media that we then transmitted in a single direction to an audience. And the technologies change that. It's brought in uh, a whole different sort of relationship. In many ways, the audience has become the producer. The producer has become the audience. And so that change changes the nature of what we do in journalism and what we do in mass communication. So the original idea was, how do we do it? How do we engage in a new world that has completely changed in the last five years? And that was, I started with that very open question. If I was going to reinvent journalism in the sense of uh, civic information, civic communication, how would we go about that? And so I began just the process of thinking through that. And for me, the important issue was it had to be a combination of how we both engage the audience as society in a community process of understanding. Mm -hmm. And that then, how do we use technology to help make that happen? And one of the things we know about when we look at technology is, is that we're finding out more and more is that the structure, the architecture of the technology drives behavior. And so it's very important that we try to synthesize the two, that we're looking at how technological forms affect uh, behavior and then how we can use those uh, behaviors in the sense of communication to create more interaction and more engagement. Oftentimes we refer to the Winona 360 Civic Media Project as teaching in public because I think there's something else going on, which is that as we reconceive civic media as we used to term journalism, we're also reconceiving an idea of teaching and learning in that we're engaging in a teaching and learning process that is both uh, intimate and self-centered and person-centered, but is also public and social and community building. And so what we're doing in terms of reconceiving journalism in many ways is also reconceiving education. Well, we use three, Winona 360 in several ways. Number one is, of course, is that we are trying to lay down the foundation for our students to understand in all of their communication endeavors a different way of engagement. So that architecture sets up the predicate for a, a new sensibility about engagement. So the Winona 360 model, if you will, permeates all of the delivery of course material because it suggests how we want to work in the field as communicators, as collaborators with an audience. That's number one. Number two is, is that it also is the central part of a theory and practice-based curriculum. So that in all of my courses, I'm presenting both a theoretical foundation, which I'm also combining with a practical or what I call practice application. So in a, what Winona 360 is doing is it's the laboratory for the theory. And so students are working uh, always with that application in mind. So oftentimes they might begin the semester working on developing certain forms of communication, for example, photojournalism. And then throughout the semester they'll, they'll move towards working at a level at which they can publish on Winona 360. So Winona 360 becomes the working laboratory for students. It also sets the bar mm -hmm. so that it's not a question of, an assignment. It's not a question of an A, B, or a C, or what do I need to get by. It's a question of working to the standard of the environment. And the standard of the environment with Winona 360 is a professional standard. So it creates a, a, a kind of a cultural, uh, it sort of reestablishes a culture of achievement in the classroom uh, that we've been fortunate that Winona 360 has been successful in sort of its level of kind of professionalism and professional standards. I think by most accounts, it, it's probably more of a website than you would anticipate in a, in a university environment or in a student environment. So it really sets the tone. I mean, they look at this and they're like, oh, that's where I need to get to. 
And so we spend a lot of time. How do you get from here to here? And that's what Winona 360 becomes. The most exciting thing about Winona 360 is I'm learning too. I don't know what the future of civic media is. What I wanted to do is I f if I wanted to learn what the future of civic media was going to be, I needed to create a laboratory so that I'm learning with my students and that we're in this together. Uh, they teach me and hopefully I teach them, but more importantly is we're in a, we're in a context that allows that to happen, that we're building and creating and trying to look at things in new ways and that the act of doing trusting in the process leads to very exciting outcomes. Uh, and I don't know what those are. I don't want to know what they are. Why would I want to know what they are? I mean, the fun of this is the question. You know, I'm in pursuit of a question. And, um, and I want my students to take heart in that too, that that's, the world's an exciting place when we're exploring uh, the possibility of question. Uh, and that we're developing that habit of question, the habit of creativity. Um, and so those are, you know, that's totally, I mean, that's why I teach. There's no, I mean, that is, there's no other, to my mind, that's why I teach.